I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is February 21st, 2016, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use curl to send a message to a Slack room. Okay, first you got to make sure your webhooks, uh, webhook, in webhook integration is set up. So here you can go to your website on uh, Slack, you know, whatever your user, your group name is, .slack.com, slash apps, slash manage, slash custom integrations. And then from here, you should have incoming webhooks chosen. If you don't, you need to go choose that first and add it as one of the integrations you're using. But then once you have it, go configure it. And you need to be an admin in your Slack group to do this. And you should be able to scroll down and, oh wait, uh, they change it. So now I'll click on edit, edit the configuration. And in here, they should have the URL you need. There you go. So there's the webhook URL. You need to copy this. That is the URL for your group. So you need to use that in order to use curl to send messages to it. Now I've already copied mine. And so here's what I've done. I've actually gone in here and I've made a file called slackurl.txt where I put that in there because I don't, want, I don't want to keep posting it here as I'm doing this video so you can see what mine is. I don't need to be covering it all the time. So what you can do really quickly to curl something you know, here's the basic curl command that will work. Oh, let me copy and paste a little better. That will work when you want to pay, uh, go to a Slack room. So here it is, uh, the dot JSON, the post, dash D, and here's your actual message right here. There's the JSON you're going to send. And this is really simple. It's just going to send a message, the message, a message. And then right here, you actually put in that URL you just copied. If you just put that URL in here, it should just work just fine. But in my case, I don't want to expose my URL a bunch of times while I'm showing you guys how to do this. So I can cheat. I can use backticks and actually run a command. Uh, well, let me do it this way. Slack. I can do backticks and just cat it right here. It'll actually show up in this command, but you won't see it while I'm doing it. So now this should post to the default room I've set up for my webhook integration. And I got the OK, and I got the message through. So I should be good. And in my general, there it is right there. It came through. And so I can do it again. We'll just change the message to message two just to prove a point. There it is. Came right through. Now chances are you may want to do some more fancy stuff because if you just use the default uh, curl like this, you're going to always message the one room you set up in your web integrations. However, you're not limited to that. So what you can do is you can actually do something a little more fancy. And I'll do a little cut and paste in here. And you can do something, something like this if you watch cut and paste. There we go. So here it is. Here's my uh, JSON I'm sending. And so you can actually set a faux username. And so I set a username as Sensu. And if you have, you can actually use an icon for that user. So I've actually uploaded an icon, an icon called Sensu. And so this is going to use that icon. Um, and then what channel do you want to send it to? And for whatever channel you want to send it to, you just do um, pound name of the room. So in this case, dev underscore ops. And there's the message. And so if I hit that, It should send it to it, and I should be able to go to my DevOps room and see it. Come on, slow. There we go, and there it is right there, and you can see there's, there's my Sensu username right there, and there's the Sensu icon that I put in there earlier, uh, and so it's just, it's just reusing that. Now, another cool thing you can do is you can actually send it to individuals. And it comes through as the Slack bot. So here I'll clear this out. And so here it's the same similar thing, except, except for on channel you're doing at username. So in my case, at Patrick. So if I send that, I should get a message from the Slack bot. There we go, right to myself. Um, and in fact, I could message anybody on that. Open up. And there it is. So this is a line of text. So worked just fine. So that's a quick tutorial showing you how to use curl 
to post to your Slack rooms and even actually how to post to users kind of pretending to be the Slack bot. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.